I have learned throughout my life that every single time that I step outside of my comfort zone, I am happier. Way, way more happy. You know, through my college days, when I first went into college after being the sort of like so antisocial, lonely kid in secondary school, when I first went into college, I decided to make a new me, restart my story and step out my comfort zone and actually try a little bit harder. It's a new college, it's a new start. And when I did, I felt so much better. When I stepped out my comfort zone, talked to more people, tried to interact as, with as many people as I could, it was uncomfortable and it was hard, but when I did step out my comfort zone, I felt so much better. To the point where I'd wake up in the morning and I felt great, positive, energetic, motivated. I got to the point where I loved college and I never ever thought that I would love school. And this is when I realized how much of a control that your comfort zone has on your life and how the comfort zone could possibly ruin your life. You see, there are two ideologies in life. Things in the comfort zone and things that are not in the comfort zone. But what is the comfort zone? What is defined as a part of your comfort zone? What does your brain decide that is the comfort zone? Things that your brain decides that is a part of the comfort zone are things that are completely easy to do. That literally take you no time to think about as you're doing it. For example, getting in the shower. You don't even need to think about it as you're doing it, you just kind of do it. This is what is classed your comfort zone. Things such as brushing your teeth, driving. It's like second nature, you don't really think about it. However, things that are not in your comfort zone is something, for example, running a marathon. Trying to do this, you would break into sweat, you would really have to steer your resolve to try and finish it, and you're actively sort of almost competing with your body to actually accomplish this goal. This is something that is not in your comfort zone. However, things that are not in the comfort zone feel weirdly good when you actually manage to complete them. You feel something. You know, say for example, you wanted to do a two minute plank. This is uncomfortable. This is something that you're gonna have to really try. But when you finish it, you feel great. Or that marathon, or even that 10 minute run. After you finish these, it feels amazing. You feel weirdly good, despite it being so uncomfortable at the beginning. The difference with stuff in your comfort zone is that when you accomplish that and you finish, you feel nothing. Because it was so unbelievably easy that your brain didn't have to think about it, when you finish it, your brain thinks nothing. You feel nothing. The bad thing about that is that means you have no idea to know what is good and what is bad for you in the comfort zone if your brain feels nothing. Which means your brain can't distinguish what is actually good for you and what is bad because you don't feel anything when you complete it. It's easy. If you smoke cigarettes every single day, like a, a whole pack, and you've been doing this for a long time, it gets to the point where it's easy. It is not difficult for you to do it, and your brain doesn't even think about it when you do. This would be something classed as your comfort zone. However, because your brain feels nothing, it's not really telling you that it's bad. You know it's bad for you, but because it's so in your comfort zone, you don't want to stop. And that is the bad thing about your comfort zone. Because it is easy, we want to stay here. Unconsciously, we want to stay in the comfort zone. However, there is some type of ideology that I want you to learn, and that is progress. Progress feels good. Whether it's on a video game, whether it's at the gym, whether it's that two minute plank which you could never do before. Progress feels great. It feels good. We love when we can actually see the results of our hard efforts and our time. When we can see that progress, it feels amazing. And when we can see the results, it makes us want to do more to make more progress. So if the comfort zone is easy to the point where your brain thinks nothing about it when you're doing it, you can never make progress in the comfort zone. Because it's so easy, your brain feels nothing. The downside of this, it ends up making us feel nothing. Lost. Empty. Sometimes maybe even depressed. When we are constantly living in the comfort zone. 
we aren't making any progress in anything and we feel lost. This is how the comfort zone can completely ruin your life. And maybe it's something you're dealing with right now. However, the comfort zone isn't a bad thing. After this whole video, I'm telling you that. That's so hypocritical. Like, that's really counterproductive. The comfort zone itself isn't bad. It's what you're doing in that comfort zone. So how do we fix this? How can we make it so our comfort zone is good and actually beneficial to us? So where we don't feel lost and empty. Your comfort zone is influenced by what you do outside your comfort zone. So, if you think about it, if you're constantly taking one single step outside your comfort zone, eventually what is uncomfortable will become comfortable. And that will be a part of your new comfort zone. So for example, if you find it really uncomfortable to go to the gym to try and make any sort of physical progress because you're ashamed of how your body looks or what other people think, just go on days where it's quiet. Go early in the morning and only go for like 30 minutes, one single step outside your comfort zone. In a week's time, you keep doing that, eventually that single th amount of time, 30 minutes where you go into a quiet gym and early in the morning, that will become a part of your comfort zone, which at first was uncomfortable. It was awkward, you didn't wanna do it, you had to hype yourself up to do it. Now that's a part of your comfort zone, so what do you do next? You take another step. Okay, maybe I'll go with the, it's a little bit more busy, so maybe in the afternoon maybe on a weekday instead of the weekend. Yeah, for some reason, gyms are really quiet on the weekends. I don't really know why. They're way busy on the weekdays. And I'll go to the gym when there's a couple more people. In two weeks' time, guess what? Now that's your comfort zone. What was first uncomfortable, and you had to hype yourself up for, now that's your comfort zone. And this works with anything, whether it be socially interacting with more people, whether it be trying to get better at driving, that fear of the road you have, whether it be trying to simply go to the gym more. This is beneficial to you in everything. Anytime you take a moment and you step outside of your comfort zone in something that is beneficial to you, your comfort zone is influenced by what you do outside of it. So if you're constantly aiming just to take one step and slightly improve outside your comfort zone, then you will make huge amounts of progress over a really long period of time. And you will feel how I felt during my college days, where I went from the really antisocial kid who was scared of people in secondary school. In college, I tried stepping out of my comfort zone just by one step and tried smiling at people more. And then after that became comfortable, I tried talking to people more. And then I ended up becoming more socially out there. That became a part of my comfort zone, which before in secondary school would have been a nightmare. That would have been terrifying. Yet I made progress in about a couple months, just because I took one simple step every single day. And I felt great. I felt positive. I was making progress and it feels amazing. If I could do that from a kid who was scared of people, then you definitely can. Hopefully things have been good. And hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the one in the corner, because maybe this one can help you too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, alright, some room gets.